Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about how to build a church communications plan from scratch. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man, it's Brady Shearer. And today, we're going to talk about how to build a church communications plan from scratch. Got a DM the other day from an individual in Pro Church Nation talking about how they've just become, uh, they've just come into a place where in their church where they've kind of been put in charge of setting up a communications plan. Problem is, church pretty much has no communications okay. plan in place or ever has. And this is a very common situation that many churches find themselves in. And a lot of people in Pro Church Nation can empathize with this individual, knowing what it's like to have a blank canvas, yeah. which is great, right? but also the fear and intimidation factor that comes along with that blank canvas. Yeah, where do you start? Every single day, we have a new episode of Pro Church Daily that shares, hopefully, a great tip, tactic, or strategy that you can implement in your church but that's every single day. Yeah. That means 365 days of the year, yeah. you have perhaps a new thing you could try, right. which can feel overwhelming. Yeah. So I wanted to do an episode of Pro Church Daily that basically lays down a foundation, a strategy for where you should invest the majority of your efforts when you are first figuring out this whole thing of communications. Awesome. And even if you have something that's already in place, these are still the three most important platforms where you should be investing the majority of your resources, energy, and time even if you already have something in place. So you can use this as a gauge, as a measuring stick for, okay, maybe we're putting a little bit too much energy, time, creative resource into this. As in, at, at the end of the day, Brady at least believes that the ROI is more gonna be found on this side of the right. equation. So the three things, kind of the three platforms that every church should have some presence on. And let's start with the most important. The most important is your Website. Your website. Of course. Your church's website, your most single most important marketing tool. If you don't yeah. care for the word marketing next to church, you can use the word outreach. Yeah. The most important tool that you have at your disposal when it comes to reaching your community, growing an online pl uh, presence, and most importantly, making first impressions. For sure. More important than anything else. Uh, consider this statistic, it comes from Forbes. 97% of people search for local organizations online. Wasn't too long ago, just last week, that you and I and Brandon and Tristan took a trip to SoCal to right. do some filming for storytape.com. We're in new cities. We are in places that we are unfamiliar with. When we're looking for places to eat, places to film, places for coffee, what do we do? Just hop on the phone, hop on the computer, whatever digital devices in front of us, your watch maybe, and you just search, you use Google, you use, we used Yelp, we use, um, you know, websites that have reviews, and you just use the internet as a tool to determine what's around here. You know, I'm not picking up the phone book or looking through the yellow pages or even asking somebody on the street. I have all the answers I need on the internet. Exactly, and that's how pretty much every single human on earth uses Google. Uh, this is from HubSpot, 46% of all searches on Google are local. So hmm. this isn't just a thing that you know you search, you search online for you know maybe a, a product that you're going to buy from an Amazon or a Best Buy or whatever right. it might be. This is for looking for shops for churches for sure. in your local area. Almost fifty percent of all Google searches local. And the final thing that I want to say about a website is you know your church staff are unable to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. Your facilities, your building is not open no. that often. The only platform that you as a church possess that is yours to own on your own digital property is your website, yeah. open and available 24 seven. So at 3 a.m. when someone wants to register for a small group or search for information, just looking for a local church, trying to find hope, right. maybe they stumble across your website. Yeah, it's your front door. No. Like you always say, yeah. the most important place that you have available. Second, before we get to social media, and I think this is gonna be surprising for a lot of churches. For sure. Email. Yeah. Still, the for us at Pro Church Tools, the number one communication resource after our website. Absolutely. Email. These stats are all from uh, Optin Monster which is a phenomenal email capture tool for WordPress and other platforms, comparing social media, Facebook and Twitter in particular, to email. There are 50% more users for email than for Facebook. It was like 2.4 billion email users <laughs> compared to 1.7 billion Facebook users. 58% yeah. of people say that email is the first thing that they check online each day. Only wow. about 15% check social first. Hmm. So people roll out of bed or whenever they're checking their phone for the first time, they're going to email before anything else. Right. 91% of people use email daily compared to just 15 per, uh, 57 pardon me, 
57% on Facebook, just 14% on Twitter. Mm. People are using email every single day. For so sure. if you need to get information out that's timely, email, still the best platform to do that. Finally, 77% of people prefer email for permission-based promotions from brands hmm. compared to just 4% on Facebook. Meaning, people want to hear about promotions when they give you permission, when they give you, your e uh, give you their email address. They much prefer you send out events and calendar and new information from your church via email compared to Facebook. Hmm. Now, that data is a little bit skewed because people don't think of Facebook as a platform they use for that. Right. But just goes to show you how powerful email is. A lot of churches just don't spend too much time on it, but when it comes to the audience size, when it comes to the frequency of use, and when it comes to actually, according to, th to this data, what people prefer when it comes to communication channels, email trumps Facebook and all of social media every single time. Yeah. With that being said, the third and final platform that you should invest energy, time, and creative resources into when you're building out your church's communication strategy is Facebook. Absolutely. The most important social platform for churches. Not the most important digital platform. Again, website and email, still more important based on the data that we have, but Facebook of all the social platforms, the most important. Why is that? Well, as of 2016, likely this has surely gone up, 68% yeah. of all American adults were active on Facebook. The closest runner-up social platform, also owned by Facebook, Instagram, and it was in the high 20s, low 30 wow. percentages, uh, according to that report from Bar Barna. So twice as many people, more than twice as many people using Facebook. That is the power of Facebook. Why is it the most important social platform? Well, at the end of the day, we know that attention is the most valuable commodity that your church can possess. Facebook holds more attention than any other platform. Yeah, and you've you've said it you've said it a few times uh, today, but I think it's important just to reiterate one more time. It's so important that you value these things and prioritize these things in this order: website, email, Facebook, in that order, and and go deep and not wide. We only have so much time, energy, and creative resources, volunteer resources at our disposal as churches. And a lot of the times we're wearing so many different hats. So it, it's incumbent upon us to invest our energy into platforms that will deliver the most ROI possible. Right. And so it's important for us to make educated decisions, informed decisions on where we invest our energy, time, creativity, volunteers, because it is just so limited. Yeah. You know, I, I think when I, in my experience, churches that excel in digital media do two things well. One is they make informed decisions mm -hmm. based on data. And two, they try not to overextend themselves. Right. You know, for most churches, Facebook's probably the only social media platform you need to invest in. And then once you've got that figured out, then take a step into Instagram. Like you said, right. deep, not wide. Most ROI can be found when you follow that strategy. Yeah, and most people in your churches that are going to be responsible for these things are likely going to be volunteers. You know, most, most right. churches are not mega churches. Right. They're small churches, people just volunteering their time and their efforts. So let's just, let's, like you said, maximize the time that we have available and the effort and really focus on these things. At Pro Church Tools, we invest a ton of time into our website, Facebook, and email. Yeah. But there is one more platform, especially when it comes to 25 to 34 demographic that's huge for us, and that right. is Instagram. Of I course. would put that probably number four for a lot of churches, and we'd love to have you join the at Brady Shearer following on Instagram. Why? Well, because throughout the month of February, we are doing a ton of giveaways, yeah. giving away free stuff to the people of Pro Church Nation, but you gotta be following my account on Instagram, right. at Brady Shearer. We're getting closer to the 10,000 mark. Why is that important? Well, because at 10,000, if you are a business account at Instagram, you get the swipe up feature in stories. We're trying to get that feature. I cannot begin to tell you how important this feature is to me. Yeah. <laughs> so help us get there, at Brady Shear on yeah. Instagram. Follow us, and you can be eligible for all the great stuff we're giving away throughout the month of February. Yep. Thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you never miss another one. And if you like this video, it would mean the world to us if you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow.